Welcome to percentages. A number of learners at a given school are given in the table below with some values missing. So let's go to the first question. Find A, so we want A, the number of grade 11 learners. If they are 75% of grade 8 learners. Now here's a golden rule. If you've got a number with a percentage sign, so change that percentage to a fraction. And the way you do that, you put it over 100. So the 75% becomes 75 over 100. Always start there. Change the percentage to a fraction. So we are told that grade 11s are 75% off. Off in math means times grade 8. And grade 8 is 120. So we can work that out quickly. So this gives us 90 learners. Uh, we have 90 learners in grade 11. That's the value of A. It's going to B. Now we want to find B. Uh, and B is the number of grade 12 learners. If they are 37% less than grade 10. So grade 12 is 37% less than grade 10. So I've seen learners do this. They will, for example, take... 80, which is the grade 10 learners, and they minus the 37%, uh, which is wrong because you can't take a number and minus a percentage. This is wrong. So what you want to do is to apply the golden rule. We've got 37% here, so let's write it as a fraction. Put it over 100, and we'll multiply it by the number of grade 10 learners, which is 80. So we'll work that out quickly. So this will give us 29,6 learners. But of course, learners cannot be continuous. People can only be discrete. So we'll round this off to 30 learners. So 37% represents 30 learners. Now we can subtract to find the learners in grade 12. We know that the learners in grade 12 are 30 learners less. Remember, 37% represents 30 learners. So the number of learners in grade 12 are 30 learners less than the learners in grade 10. So if you take grade 10, which is 80, you minus the 30 learners, uh, th which is 37% of 80, you will find that we have 50 learners in grade 12. Let's move on to the next example. Find C, there's C, which is the number of grade 9 learners. Now, we can use the percentage here of uh, the grade 9 learners to calculate the number. All right, and again, golden rule, remember, if we have a percentage, we write it as a fraction, we put it over 100. So the 22,7% will put over 100, and then we'll multiply by the total of everyone. Right, uh, because grade nines are twenty-two comma uh, seven percent of everyone at the school. So you multiply by the total of everyone, and let's work it out quickly. This will give us. 99,88 and again we cannot have a continuous number of learners so we will round this off to 100 learners so that means we've got 100 learners in grade 9 okay now let's come to d calculate d the percentage now here we need a new golden rule remember the first one was if you have a percentage you must put it over 100 before you do your calculation. Now the next golden rule, the minute you see these words calculate uh, and percentage, 
if you're calculating a percentage you are always going to be multiplying by 100. here we want to calculate the percentage of grade 8 learners and we know we've got 120 grade 8 learners out of the total of 440 we always put it over the total uh, the particular value over the total and then we multiply by 100 because we want a percentage so let's work that out quickly So, and we are told to round this off to one decimal place. So this is going to be 27,3. That two must be rounded up. So it will be 27,3%. Okay, let's move on to the next example. This one's easy. Calculate grade 10 as a percentage of grade 12. Of course, we are calculating a percentage. And whenever we see these words, calculate and percentage, the golden rule is we're going to multiply by 100. You always multiply by 100 to calculate a percentage. Now, we want grade 10 as a percentage of grade 12. So we'll just put grade 10 over grade 12. So when you calculate something as a percentage of something else, you just put the one over the other. So let's work that out quickly. So this will give you 160%. All right, of the next example, if grade 11 learners increase by 7.5% next year, calculate the number of grade 11s next year. So if the grade 11s are going to increase by 7.5%, we've got 90 um, grade 11s and they're going to increase by 7.5%. And again, I will repeat, you cannot do this, all right? Because you have a number, you cannot add a number to a percentage. This is wrong. So what you want to do first is you have to use the golden rule. Let's change the 7.5% to a number so that we can add a number to a number. So golden rule, 7.5%, we change to a fraction. We write over 100. Of the grade 11s, there are 90 grade 11 learners. So you want to see what this 7.5% represents. All right, so we've got 7.5 percent of 90. Okay, this gives us 6,75. And again, remember here we're dealing with the number of learners. Uh, learners, so learners can, people can only be discrete. So we're going to round this up to seven learners, all right? So grade 11 learners are going to increase by 7.5%, which is actually 7 learners. So if there were 90 learners this year, then they increase by 7 learners. That means there will be 97 learners next year. Remember, number of learners have got to be discrete. Okay, so let's go on to the last question now. So last question, calculate the percentage change. So for a percentage change, whether it's an increase, percentage increase, or a percentage decrease in the exam, if you see a percentage change, this is the formula. New minus old over old times 100. This is the formula that we always use if we are calculating a percentage change, whether it's a percentage increase or a percentage decrease. In this case, we want the percentage change if there are 45 learners in grade 12 next year. All right, so this the 45 will be the new number of learners next year, and this 50 is the old number of grade 12 learners. So if we are using this formula, it will be 45, that's the new number, minus the 50, which is the old number, over 50 again, which is still the old number, and we multiply this by 100. So let's work it out quickly. So you got 45. And it's 50 over 50 times 100 will give you negative 10%. The negative 10 is not a mistake. Remember, the number of learners went down from 50 to 45. This is why you get a negative percentage. 
but we don't care about the negative sign we'll just write it as 10 percent because we are only interested in the change so in the exam just write it as 10 percent uh, change the negative and write it as positive so that you can just write the change okay thank you thank you very much